another day in San Cristobal de las Casas, Mexico. We're headed back out on our travels and we're leaving for four months this time. And Kitty's coming with us. Those are words I never thought I'd say. That's because we have been traveling for almost six years in February and I never really thought I would get a new pet and much less travel with said pet. So getting her was really like a big deal for us. Kind of like a huge commitment to Mexico in a way. So I have been getting ready for this moment because I want to make sure she's as comfortable as I can possibly make her. And this was the kind of acquisition that was necessary in my mind. I had to follow the specs that the airline gives you for the pet carrier. Do you like it? I think she likes it. It opens up. This is really cool. It has this little thing, I guess, to hold her. If I want to clip this open with this thing and give her some air. Okay, this one's a lot better than the other one I had gotten for her. And I wanted her to be comfortable. I feel like I never wanted to travel with a pet because I didn't want the pet to suffer. So it's important for me that she doesn't hate this experience. It's her first time flying, so, and it's my first time taking a pet on a plane. So I needed to get a bag that was a little bit better. Originally I got this one and I took her in it to get her first set of shots and get spayed and all that kind of stuff. But to actually fly, we needed something better. But better to a cat that is used to roaming free is probably not this. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't really know until we started. She does like cozy things and she always climbs into our book bags. So I really thought a book bag would be the perfect thing for her until I heard her meowing and meowing and meowing. She's very unhappy right now. It's a 20 minute walk to the vet. And with the other carrier, I've been taking a cab, but it's school time, so there's no cabs. And she's so unhappy. Now there's a chance that what's making her unhappy is the chaos of the streets. Here's hoping and that she won't mind the airport as much. Although the airport is pretty hectic, so I don't see a way out of this. Now the vet is so sweet and all the nurses are so sweet and they really love her. It's, it's cute to see. So the doctor must do this often because she knew exactly what she needed for transport. And we're gonna get the last of the vaccines today, which is a month before. So as far as I understand, pets have to get their rabies shot a month before or a minimum of a month before travel. But to get the form that says that she can travel, that has to be within a few days of travel. So she set me up with everything I would need to be safe under trouble. Mm -hmm. She said, the more documents, the better. They moved us to this room. Different room. And they gave her a price for being a good girl. That's <laughs> brava. And back home. She's not happy with me, but see you in a month so we can travel. Exhausted. So I was gonna start today at packing, but I want to be as transparent mm -hmm. with you guys as I can. And this is what the day looked like. So I help out at an English class, actually two. This is the second one. And this one I'm sharing teacher hey. <laughs> what it's like to be a traveler and homeschooling mom and all things social media. That was so much fun. 
and I squeezed a lot of things in in the last week and this was one of the things I wanted to do before I left. Now I have some errands to run because we're taking off on Monday and I have to pay cable, have to pay electricity, have to take care of cat stuff. Next is Mega Cable. My goal with Mega Cable was to ask him if they could cancel it for four months or suspend it for four months and if not pay it. So I ended up paying it. Next, electricity. And for this one I have to ask. Thank goodness he was there to help because I didn't know what to do. I had to get help because I couldn't figure it out, but he said it's called abonar. So to put extra money for the following months works. So I paid in advance kind of thing. Kind of bummed I couldn't suspend service for my gagable for four months because having to pay for something you're not going to use kind of sucks. I don't feel the same about electricity because obviously they'll charge me whatever gets spent and I don't want to leave my neighbor without electricity she needs to do laundry. It's kind of weird, different for me to have community in two different places. This is new for us. We've never really experienced this before. We've been traveling so long and I didn't really think this would happen to be honest. I need to cash out for the lady that's going to take care of the house for me. And we have built such a community and you know there's certain things that I want to get strained out before I leave and people is one of them. I want to make sure everybody is taken care of and every, everything I promise I would do is done. So, but let's handle the cat thing because I needed to go right before travel to meet with the veterinarian and I need a leash. And it was a little hard to figure out because the cat really likes slipping out of things. <laughs> She's really thin and long. And um, when she got operated, I put her in a shirt that she kept slipping out of. So I have to tell you, I don't really know how this is gonna work, but we're just gonna go with it. Because if anything, I can hold her without a leash. I'm not too worried about that. Don't judge me, Spanish is my first language. Because when we're going through security, she's gonna have to come out of the backpack, and I'm gonna have to hold her, and they recommend a leash so she doesn't run away. Another thing that we do before we leave is take care of ourselves. I think, I imagine everybody does this before traveling, but because we're gonna be gone for so long, like all the things that I usually get done here and I have like my people, so to speak, I like to get it done before I go. So we got our hair done last week and the girls are getting their nails done. I don't really do my nails, but they're getting their nails done um, right now. That's because when we get back, there's like two events and the price is like half sometimes even lower, so there are things that I don't really let them do over there. They don't get to get acrylics over there, but they get to get acrylics here, so we're doing it before we take off. Now I love that this is walking distance for us, and it's somewhere that girls feel comfortable being at. Um, they're teenagers, so I'm trying to get them to be a little bit more independent. And even though I still take them and sometimes pick them up, pick them up to these places, um, this is somewhere that they don't mind staying alone. And like I said, they've built a repertoire with these ladies and they already know the flow. So I like that they're able to do this. It's part of growing up, I think. I 
also wouldn't leave them there <laughs> if we were in the US. <laughs> but I feel safe here. Now this one home was a moment and it, it it's hard to explain what I feel every time I have to go back. Um, I love Miami and I love my family, but hmm. am I supposed to step on this? If there's something that I feel here that I just love. I didn't think I was gonna fall in. You thought I was gonna fall in. Every little thing, even something as silly as that, uh, it makes me happy. So for the past two years, we have been accumulating suitcases here in Mexico because I refuse to pay for luggage. And like I mentioned in previous videos, we have a wardrobe that we use in Mexico and another one that we use in the United States. But last summer, we returned for three months and we were missing our things. You know, I think one of the most important parts of being a full-time traveler with children is to nest. So now that we're going back, we're taking, I think we have nine suitcases, but we're taking six. <laughs> and, um, and I let them bring some of their things. So not only clothing, but their things, you know? They're back. They're so fancy. <laughs> I'm not this fancy. Good morning, sunshine. I have so much to do today. <laughs> so much packing. I did start packing two weeks ago, but I started with things that I don't wear. And this is where it gets confusing for me because I have to wash the things that I do regularly wear. I have to make sure I leave out those things that whatever I'm gonna use today, tomorrow. And then I have today, I'm making a cake for my last English class. And then Monday we leave. Yeah, I'm nervous. There's such a big difference between coming here for a few months and going back to the US for a few months. I feel like I'm going to war and I have to prepare mentally, physically, and uh, I don't know. There's a lot of prep that goes on in my life before I go to the US. And um, it makes me nervous. It's the truth. It is what it is. But <sighs> let's get going. Maybe having you come along will help me get de-stressed. And hopefully this video won't be stressful for you. <laughs> I never want my videos to be stressful. But I also want to be transparent and honest. And some situations are stressful. I think going back to the US is stressful. We'll see how it goes this time. So I have many different projects happening at the same time. Obviously the packing, I have to finish sewing so I can put away the machine, do laundry, and editing at the same time. So you can see a video as we leave. She has no idea what she's going to be doing in two days. So as the day progressed, I think between the stress and just the quantity of things that I had to do because I got up really early to do them this morning. I started feeling kind of sick and I ended up canceling on the class and therefore I decided to end the video here. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching and next video we'll be taking out to the US. <laughs> Love you. Bye.